What the what the what the what up? How are you doing? So excited. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you're joining from, how are you doing today? Good evening. How are you doing? Good morning. Wherever you're joining from. From another amazing session today, and we're going to be having a great time like we were before. Tell me where you guys are joining from. It's going to be a great session today. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, all the way from Kenya, Alfred, good to have you. How is Kenya today? Kenya today. Hey, Asom from Cameroon. <laughs> no, is it Cameroon? Yes, Cameroon. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good morning, wherever you're joining from. This session, we're ready for it. Fantastic, amazing. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Brigade Agogo. Eh, eh, where have you been? Is it the same Brigade? <laughs> How are you? Good to have you on tonight. Good to have you guys this evening. Good evening, sir. Watching you from Dubai. Chineidu. How is Dubai? Any update on the on the new king? We have started today. Good evening from here. Good evening, my brother. So as usual, help somebody click on the like button, copy the link, broadcast. Let's get others to let's get others to um let's get others to get this done. Yes, let's get others to gain value. If you're on Facebook, make sure you click on the share button. Let's do that together. Let's do that together. Share the link. Share the link. <laughs> Brigitte. Yes, sir. It's been a while. I've missed you. Aga. It's really, really been a while. Okay, I'm broadcasting. Um, I want to share. I'm clicking on the share button. Help us do that right now so a lot of people can get access to this session. Some will naturally watch it after, but, you know, because of questions that we're going to be having. So, uh, 35 minutes is always please. Click on share, 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 right now, share. One more minute. I'm sharing. And this is Today's topic is a main topic 
that helps a lot of people to get better at trading. So if you can stay tuned to the end, you will definitely be grateful you did because it's one of the challenges we a lot of traders have, you know, and it's, um, yeah. Prayer is good, Alban. I visited the website today to take one more mentorship, but Aaron couldn't find it there. Only hundred, one thousand dollars, and five hundred dollars. Okay, so what we did was that um, we discovered that a lot of people used to come in as if they are already forex traders, so they go for the one more mentorship. But we discovered that one more mentorship cannot fix it. Okay? One more mentorship cannot fix it. Perfect. So I recommend you go for the $1,000. But um, DM me. Let's talk on Instagram after the session. Okay? Let's talk on Instagram after the session. Yeah. We'll join it all the way from. Portaka, fantastic. So let's get to work. Uh, I think with the Lord Justice did that by letting us see. So psychology of trading for me is 70% of the market of every trader. Psychology of trading has a lot to do with success everyone as a forex trader want to achieve what i have noticed is that the psychology of trading is an experience is an experience is not going to just be theoretical yes because what i'm going to be sharing with you today is my own experience with some of my mentors that have studied the experience so, but as I teach you, which is more theoretical, you will now need to go to the chat and experience it. Now, if you don't experience it, you can't be able to maximize what you've learned today. So, as I share this session with you today, you want to make sure you take quality time, okay, you want to make sure you, you take quality time to be able to maximize this because if you can get this right, I can guarantee you that you're going to do well, like really well. But if you, if you, if you ignore this part of trading, then I can tell you for free you're going to be struggling. And I don't want you to struggle because that is the essence of coming online and um, sharing my beat. Okay? That's where, that's, yeah, that's why. So if not, naturally, I might not be coming online to, you know, every single time to teach you again and again some of the things that I've learned. So, i establish that. What is psychology of trading, okay? So trading psychology refers to the emotions and the mental state that help dictate success or failure. But today it is an, it referred to the emotions and the mental state that helps dictate if you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. This does not have anything to do with your this does not have anything to do with your strategy. This does not have anything to do with how, how long you've been trading. But this has to be everything to do with your mindset. Can you guys type in mindset on the, on the comment box? Type mindset right now. 
Santa, good evening. Join the world. Good to have you, Santa. Esther Marty, the hard good evening, boss. Good I think I'm set. I'm set. What that have helped me is that I have to initiate feeding that mindset to rubbish. You guys need to know that forex trading is more than strategy. It's more than strategy. Currently, the cryptocurrency market is down. Some people are so told of their, their investment in the cryptocurrency. One of the major challenge why they sold off was not because of it, but because they had a very wrong mindset. Forex trading also, as a matter of fact, the financial market generally, you understand that it is very, very important that you work on your psychology. And what are the, what are these psychology um, classifications that can help us? Like I said, that it is referred to as what? The emotional and the mindset, or I'll call it the emotional and the mental state that helps dictate if you're going to succeed and if you're going to be failing. Okay? So I'm going to share with you amazing, amazing, amazing thoughts about this. So number one I'm going to be sharing with you is what are your behaviors whenever you are trading what are your behaviors what are your behaviors whenever you're trading what are your behaviors are you someone who is naturally calm or you're someone who is naturally aggressive tell me what are your behaviors whenever you want to trade what comes to you what comes to you what comes to your mind what are what comes to your system how do you see it whenever you want to trade? Tell me. Tell me. What, like, some people, they have issues with it because <laughs> it, it, they just really feel like uncomfortable, like, they just feel like entering the trade just because they have money in their account. And when they lose the money, they 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 miss out. They miss out, and you don't want to do this. You don't you don't want to miss out because after you've lost the money, definitely you will now calm down. Then perhaps you know. So I'm going to share with you guys. <laughs> Fantastic. So so Axon said, Axon Cameroon says. A bit of fear and worry. Fantastic. Thank you for being sincere. Okay, Fidelis, Fidelis said either a loss or a win. Okay. Now, Esther said anxiety and losing. Ooh. And this is common to everyone who is into the market. Or anyone who is not yet consistent is not yet consistent with me. So to overcome this, I'm going to be sharing with you number one rule on that behavior is develop confidence. Come on, type in. Type in develop confidence. I'm going to share with you steps that you need to take to develop confidence. Because, you know, when you say there are some things that are not tangible, that but they are so much important when it comes to uh intangible things or emotional things or um um mental stuff things that you can't really grab so the first rule okay that can help your cycle of trading is to build confidence and number one on that building confidence, how you can build confidence is what are you trading? What are you trading? I, why are you trading? Are you trading because somebody bought a car on YouTube 
or you saw somebody who is by the uh who is by the ocean or you saw somebody who on his laptop uh who took a picture uh in a in a private jet or you saw someone put on a boxers beside a swimming pool and is with his laptop telling you that there's money in trading come on guys don't be too serious at me if you have been there before type in seven let's go right now type in seven you've been there before type in seven like geez you were come on some of us we started trading forex because we saw such advert on facebook we saw such advert on youtube we saw so we, we saw come on and because you saw the person taking picture with lamborghini you don't know maybe he's the owner of lamborghini or bugatti or maserati then you like feel oh this guy come on i have to trade for it because this guy is trading for it no guys no guys don't trade for it because of that and if you have started trading for it because of it how can you build your psychology is to develop confidence now the cheat code to develop confidence is to practice come on that's the cheat code to develop practice. confidence practice everyone in the in the rtc community all i tell them to do is to spend one to two hours per day on the chat how many days put that in the book how many days one to two hours per day either you're busy either you are anyone you are mom you want to spend at least one or two hours in a day to be able to get what you're doing. you must be able to create that how many of you are going to can how many of you can do that right now one to two hours because you have to practice you have to practice you have to practice you have to practice you know You know, somebody once told me that you know I should I should display some lifestyle. And I said, I told the person, I said, I can. I can. Every time I go out, I travel out of the country, I can take pictures and you know show it on Facebook, show it on social media. But we all have reasons for doing forex. Okay, I don't know why I'm putting bringing this up for you. We all have reasons for trading for it. Okay, and if we all have reasons for trading for it, you need to hold on to that reason, which is that why. My very, very in strong part of me that is making me do forex, I'm not doing forex to display lifestyle, I'm doing forex that I can meet up all my goals all my goals one of my major goal is to help one billion people have access to the for to the financial to financial freedom that is my goal so i'm not an independent trader i run a company i have staff i have team i have board of directors i have investment for investors portfolios i have so i'm not I'm not that independent trader who is who does not have structure around him or her. And you know, you, you want to differentiate. So by the time I was done educating this person, he now like, okay, so this is it. That's a simple truth. I run a company, I have staffs, I have board of directors, I have people I pay monthly salaries i have people that i pay their school fees i have people that i host every month i several views guys run running into so many but that's my thought so my joy if i'm going to buy a private jet right now before i buy a private jet i want to meet some certain goals and that is the way you want to be able to plan your forex account because if you can really overcome that you will do well 
Now, when you do well, you can now start doing your lifestyle. If that is what, you know, you can't change everybody, okay? And like I said, everybody's vision is different. Some people's vision here is just to have money, you know, and that's it. So back to confidence, okay? Well, we got that. Put in seven. Put in seven on the comment box. So I have a vision. I have something that is really big on your desk. Okay, I have something that's really big, that's really, really big on your desk. So that will not just be about buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. My recommendation, aha, uh -huh. my recommendation, okay, I have something really big that will make you to sit up every night to check the chart. So, number one, I said that you should develop confidence. And I said the cheat code develop confidence is to practice and i said spend at least one to two hours per day to be able to build confidence now can i go to number two right now don't forget that practicing is that you're practicing your strategy okay you must have a strategy that you're practicing on okay for example I'm a swing trader, okay? We're launching the, the intraday, ITC intraday strategy this month. And I'm happy for those that are, that are in the community, you know? So that's it. But you need to have a strategy that you are trading, that you're going to be practicing on. And you also need to learn what is how to backtest. Maybe one of the videos... I'll do a training on backtesting. Everybody type in backtesting. Backtesting, backtesting, backtesting. Backtesting all helps confidence building. I can't imagine the number of backtests I've done before we launched the ITC. About a year ago. About, uh, about a year. A year and some. Yeah. I've backtested so much. That I, I am guarant I can guarantee anyone that if you let ITC and you blow your account, let me know. Let me know. It's not possible. It's never possible to trade ITC and blow account. You will always end up making profit. So back testing. So you go to maybe you go to your day, daily chart, or you go one hour. And you use the back testing tool. There are several back testing tools, so I'll do a training on that. I'm not going to be doing that today because I I want to share with you so many things about psychology of trading as much as I can. Then maybe we'll do part two of it or part three psychology. Of trading. But this is more powerful than trading. Like it's more powerful. Sorry, that strategy, very very powerful. So. The number one rule, like I shared with you, is develop confidence. And I said one of the ways you, should, you can develop confidence is by practicing. Number two, uh, under developing confidence, another way is to back test. Okay? And when you back test, you're going to be good to go. Now, can I help you? Number two, which is very, very important. So, number one is develop confidence. Number two is know your weakness. Come on, guys. Type in know your weakness. You need to know your weakness. You need to know your weakness right now. See, psychology of trading is like you going to meet a, uh, a, a psychologist who is listening to you and will recommend you what you're going to be doing. A lot of us used to prove that we are superman. Like they are super gifted, like, yes, I am powerful, you know. Like, you are just like you're so sure or so confident of what you're doing, and because of that, it's costing you a lot. You know, I, I used to tell you something about there was a time where when I started trading, I was I had so much belief. I think that was in 2018, 2019, you know. You know, I I on GDP JPY, I made over a thousand, but because I was expecting the market to get to about a thousand 
1,500 or 2,000. I can't remember. I held that trade for about three months plus. Then the trade came back. Listen to me. The trade came back. The trade came to my break even. I did not break even. The trade eventually hit me out on stop loss. Maybe some of you don't understand. Imagine you're trading and you have made like maybe on your one thousand dollars, you made like five hundred, five hundred dollars. Then you eventually, after you've made one thousand five hundred dollars, you are waiting for three months to holding the trade. Oh, eh? the trade ended up to come and hit you out. That's that's deep. Why? I knew that my weakness was that I was taking the market for granted. Come on, guys. If you're learning something deep tonight, type in 777. You need to know your weakness. So when that happened to me, I asked myself, is this not foolishness? Why would I be this kind of huge money? Waited all this long period, massive profit, but I didn't break even. I didn't throw stop. I didn't take, take profit one, take profit two, leave the rest. I didn't do anything, but I was, you know, I was just like Jesus. I was just, you know, just trying to impress. Just, you know, and I was screaming the trade. I was putting it in my social media. I was this, you know, I was just, come on, come on, come on. I was just displaying, like, I was excited. What, like, Every time I post about it, I was just being proud of it. And the trade eventually kept turned back. I started dropping back, started dropping. I didn't move my break even. I was still like, it moved up. I'm sure of the strategy. Then I eventually. <laughs> that is weakness. But I'm, I've overcome that the same way. <laughs> oh, oh, as I'm saying, I, <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah, that's it, my brother. So you don't want that to happen to you. So can you guys tell me your weakness? You can see, stop proving your superstar. That is one of your challenge. Okay? As I say, what is ITC? ITC is Institutional Trading Concept. Okay? By the grace of God, I'm the founder, and we're excited about the results of ITC, Institutional Trading Concept. So before we go further, can you type in your weakness? What have you noticed that is your weakness? Now, a lot of people have different weakness. Some people, they, they trade that they will enter a trade, they will not put stop loss. That is their weakness. They will enter a trade, they will not put take profit. That is their weakness. Some people... They will enter trades, they will not calculate their lot size. That is their weakness. Some people will enter trade, they will not, uh, they will be in profit, they will not protect their current trade. That is their weakness. Several, come on, type in, type in, tell me, tell me your own, <laughs> tell me your own weakness. Let's go. Tell me right now. Let's go. Okay. Anna, Anna said that our own weakness is fear of missing out. Yeah, fear of missing out. Okay, good. Tell me, Isaac Ben says, TP, that's take profit. You don't put take profit. Tell me, tell me. Samuel says, <laughs> FOMO, fear of missing out. Okay. Alfred Tarban says, moving the stop loss when the trade is, oh, geez, can you imagine? I've been there before. Come on, guys. I've been there. I've been there. I can imagine, Alfred. Then you feel like this trade is coming back, right? It's going to turn. It's going to turn. Come on. How many of you have been there before? It's going to turn. It will turn. It will turn. It will turn. It will turn. Then you start moving the stop loss deeper. You start moving the stop loss deeper. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, God. So... The reason why this is your weakness is because you have not you have not accepted loss. You've not accepted that 
losing is possible in Forex. There is difference between losing a trade and losing an account. And this is very important. There is difference between losing a trade and losing an account. If you're losing a trade, is different. If you're losing an account, it's different. What we do in ITC is that we have losing trades, but we don't ever have a losing account. Okay, one of the guys I'm going to be interviewing soon, not today, maybe later in the month, is a guy who joined the ITC community as a funded with $60, funded another account with $100. Okay, in two months, the $60 has grown to over $500 in two months. In, um, in more than eight months or five months, he has grown the hundred dollars to over eight hundred dollars. I'll, I'll be interviewing him. See, now you need to just accept. See, if you have seen my account where I do seventeen thousand percent, twenty thousand percent off, ten thousand percent off, five thousand percent that I come once in a while that I show you guys, you will see that I have losing trades in it. Now, the challenge is that when you are not accepting losses, you're going to keep opening your stop losses and it's going to keep going deeper and the market eats into it. Then for a lot of us that have the FOMO, the fear of missing out, is also because you have not practiced enough to increase confidence in you. See, we, see I'm sitting on a chair right now. When I got this chair, I sat down on it and I did not fall. Each time, after that time, each time I come to sit on this chair, I have never fell down or fall down. Till date, so I start off on this chair and I go and I come back, I can still see it because I have the confidence that the chair will not. The reason why you have issues with formal fear of missing out is because you have not built enough confidence that will help you to believe in that end. That's very important. Another person's challenge is discipline to stay with the trading plan. Felix, can I be uh, fidelist? Can I be sincere with you? Your vision or your project or the reason why you are trading is not strong enough. That is why. That is why you will break the rule. I used to break the rule before. I still break rule, guys. So I'm not proving to be holy here, or I'm not proving to be superstar here. I still break rule, but it's to the extreme. I barely break rule. So you want to move to that cadre of only trading your plan. You see? One of the things that helped me about discipline of trading plan is that there was a particular time I funded an account, I blew the account. I funded the game. I, I believe so much in the strategy and I lost towards like 50% of that account. And I sat down and I began to check my trades. And by the time I realized what I was doing, I told myself, Juan, nobody lay hand on me. I am the one to lay hand on myself. And I said, I will never break or trade against this trading plan again. I will never. I will never. But before I took that decision, I had lost so many accounts. And I don't want to even mention our numbers. But just imagine how much you have lost. That's the same amount. Mine will be more because I started early. You know, I started losing early. I lost well before I came to my senses. Okay, I find out to myself, say, hey, young man, young man, if you continue like this, you'll go back to the village. If you don't want to go back, well, <laughs> I don't have a place in the village, okay? But 
that's how you want to you want to really give yourself tell it to yourself that i want to fix this i want to fix this very very important okay as i said overconfidence and no tp overconfidence That's the instance I gave you earlier. Always put TP. Always put TP. Always put TP. Fear of the outcome. Practice more, Mr. G. Practice more. You are you know ITC. Practice more. <laughs> After this, I can imagine. After this, I want to do against I will close myself. That's right. That's not right. You have to play what you're going to be losing if the trade goes against you. You're going to be calculating if the trade goes in favor. What are you going to make? That alone will keep you waiting. We are still holding and in the group. We are holding the chef group. Why are you holding it since May? So, yeah. We took April 12th. We took um, HF May. We took HF May, HF May and June. There are two positions. We still own it because we know where it's going. But you know so that we know where it's going. That is confidence. But we exert profit. We profit one to profit two, which is one to five, one to, two, one to 20 out of it. So you have to take profit. Don't make it open. Esther, wow, congratulations. Thank you so much, Esther. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, patience, you can't learn patience. You are the one to force patience. There's no book on patience. Hey, Dr. Babadele, how are you doing? Good to have you here. Uh-huh. Esther said a different one. Wanting more. Everybody wants more. You know? Everybody wants more. Everybody wants more, but you have to calm down, calm down, calm down. Anxious to back the losses. No, you are not up to the market. And whenever you are anxious of going back into the market, you will break the rule. You will break the rule. Whenever you are anxious, you're going to break the rule. Anna said, I love that your students have, I love that your students have a study, a steady growth before making big gains. Humble beginning. Yeah, that's what I recommend. Even if you have $1,000 to trade, $5,000 to trade, a lot of your mentors outside there will tell you to load up your money. No, don't load up. You must consider your learning curve. Consider the learning curve. The learning curve. See, stop making friends look like because your mentor is succeeding, you or you succeed straight away. No, no, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. What your mentor will do is to collapse your your, your years of mistake is to reduce your length of mistake or your learning. That's the essence of mentorship. That's why ITC is three more mentorship, six more mentorship. Signal groups, if you join signal groups, that's different. But mentorship, no. Oh, uh, what I'm what I'm teaching you right now. It's not two years experience. It's not three years experience. It's more than four years experience, guys. I'm sharing with you. 
Yes. So for, for, for the people in the community, it's not just about the big money. So I'll tell them, if you have a thousand dollars, put some in your major account, like your 800 could be your major account, then put some in your founding account, then trade it. In your 800 account, don't risk more than 2% of this max. In your compounding account, you can risk 5%, you can risk 10%. So if you do compounding, you must have understood and confidence. So it allows you to be able to, you know, make the kind of profit you want to make. And that's the experience so far. Very, very important. Okay, so let's get back. So uh, we've said number one. Okay. Sir, not easy to master Forex perfectly like you. But I have told myself that I want to know Forex the way you really know Forex. Hey, Wakanda, Wakanda spirit. That is it. That is the decision spirit. The decision spirit right now. That is the decision spirit. The decision spirit that will, allow, when you lose a trade, focus on the win and not on the losses. That is the Wakanda spirit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's it, my brother. You see, when I when I lost money to eleven, I felt like quitting, guys. My first four years, my first four years, I stopped trading. I had a break for about three years to four years. Yes, I had a break. When I started trading in two thousand and nine, I founded my first live account in two thousand and ten. I stopped trading in two thousand and thirteen. I stopped trading. Like first three years, yeah, first three, four years. I stopped trading in 2013. Uh, stopped trading live accounts. So I was on demo 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. 2017, April. That was when I came back to Forex. Yeah. 2017, April. So I was, I was away. And when I now came in, I, my part, I knew what I did wrong in my first four years, which I knew that I did not have a mentor. I was just following YouTubers, you know, and I lost. I didn't make, I didn't make any withdrawal in my first four years. I didn't make any withdrawal. I donated. I donated well. Okay. So after donating, I came back to my senses and I said, what does it take to succeed? Then I identify, you know, Told me that who are people with who are people that do lose. He said, I told him that institution don't lose, and he said I should go and learn how to trade. So that is what led me into supply and demand. Then when I learned supply and demand, I realized that the stop loss was too much. Then in my prayer, in my closet, I developed IT that makes me to go in into a trade with five pips. Seven pips, 15 pips, maximum 20 pips. Yeah. So when I tell you eight pips, six pips, five pips, it's crazy. That's it. But it, it, I, I agree into it. So I like your person. I like your spirit. Chinedu, let's get it up. Get it done. Let's get it done. Confidence is key. Only profit for a long time and then seeing the market retrace. No, retracing is, bad, is part of it. Retracing is part of it. You just have to master that. Wakanda forever. That's it, bro. <laughs> That's correct. Big money, big knowledge, small capital equals growth. Small knowledge, big capital equals loss. That's it, my sister. That's it. That's it. So, number one, we spoke about develop confidence. And I gave you the breakdown. Number two, I said know your weakness. And a lot of you have mentioned your weaknesses. And I've been able to hope I've been able to answer or uh, share how you can really overcome that weakness. Okay? It's 
very, very important. Now, a lot of you did not mention you have high expectation for Forex. That is some of you's weakness. Your expectation is too high. Somebody posted is making $5,000 and his trading capital is $25,000. Now you saw that and you said that you also want to go and make $30,000. The person did not tell you that he's trading a, <laughs> a problem account. That is not the owner of the capital. That actually paid for a funded account. He's trading a funded account and he's not the owner of the capital. The person didn't tell you that. He's only this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. How many of you? Oh, God. Come on, guys. Don't be too serious at me. Come on, guys. If you have been there before. If you have been there before, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. You see so much that you know that that is the person's trading capital. Oh, God. God, 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 God. Uh, see, guys, please don't be competitive. When you see my result, thank God. When I see your result, I thank God. But I will not be quizzy or like too expectant because I saw your result. Then I go borrow, I go borrow money, then I go in debt. Okay, I borrow like $25,000 because somebody is trading with $25,000. Some people, come on, guys. That's what we're talking about. Your expectation is extremely high. Now, can you meet that expectation? Yes. But you need to understand that it takes time. It takes time. Okay? Emmanuel, <laughs> Emmanuel said, too much expectation is dangerous like poison. That's it, my brother. A lot of us, we are too expected. I've seen some people, I've, I've read people who quit their daily act activity, resign from their job, and they want to face forex fully. Now, like I do tell you, I've been in your shoe before, but I did not resign because of forex. Yeah. Don't resign because of forex. I've shared you the concept before. The essence of trading is to multiply. Trading is a vehicle that multiplies. So if you don't have consistent capital that comes in, eh, you will have issues with the capital to trade. So what that means is that because you don't have monthly income, you cannot feed, you cannot take care of yourself, but you are after the expectation that the result of somebody, uh, because of somebody else's result, you have resigned, you want to become a full-time trader, guys, you will go hungry. Then you will be under pressure. When, you now be, when you're now under pressure, you now go and loan, get loans. When you now get loan, you now go into deeper mess. Please, don't loan don't take loans to trade for us if you are following me for these years and you still go and borrow money i won't see you and talk to you i won't see you stupid though but it's foolishness it's foolishness i want to beg us don't do it that way get things if you are under your parents fantastic learn for us you can build career with it when it start paying you you can be a full-time trader. But you have not gained mastery. But you want to now become a full-time trader on your own. It means that when you want to eat, you borrow money. Good. So this person says, please, sir, is it advisable to join the Signal Group while you are still learning to master your own strategy? Because I used to hear from you that Signal Group cannot make someone rich in forex. Yes, you can join Signal Group. Uh, join Signal Group. Does that you must understand what they are doing? <laughs> okay, but sincerely, sincerely, those who just do copy and paste, those who just enter people's trade, 
they have issues because they don't understand it. But if you know how to trade, if you know how to trade and you see a signal, you can take decision. But when you don't know how to trade and in a signal group, you're on your own. I can tell you for free. I have been there, and the thing is that you can't differentiate if it is demo. <laughs> if it is demo or real account. Most of what we see online is demo trading. Slow growth, large capital, as you always say. Sir, confound, that is my way. You know, I can be wrong, bro. Uh -huh. That's my way. Uh huh. Fund with. <laughs> Fund with good money when you know how to trade. You know, I gave an instance to someone yesterday. You know, you have a kiosk. You want to go into a business and you have 10 million and you don't know how to do it yet. Guys, it doesn't make sense. Why would you start a business you don't know how to do? Then you now invested 10 million or you invested $1,000 in a business you don't know. No, and you are not guarantee of a stable, uh, you know, guarantee of stability, and even in life, there's nothing called guarantee in life. There's a bit, there's there must be a risk, uh, there must be a level of risk, excuse me, there must be a level of risk. So, please calm down when you master fund well, put in big money, and you're good. Okay, my weakness is taking profit too early before TP and not holding trades for long. So what do you do? You reduce your lot size. See, in mastery, there are, there are techniques to, to gain mastery. The reason why you are taking profit is because, like I said, maybe you've not mastered the strategy or you are going in on a very high lot size that you don't know what you're going to lose but when you already know that oh i'm going to lose five dollars i'm going to leave, lose hundred dollars in this trade i'm going to lose two hundred dollars in this trade i would hold it on guys i will hold it i will hold it and when you're in profit you break even i chose to be wise i will listen to my mentor mr Mayawa. Hey, bro, it's been a while. How are you doing, the, uh, Simeon? Simeon. That person said, signals are scam. Ah, I need to interview Alfred one day. Alfred, I need to interview one day. <laughs> it's like you, you've got some real, real tough experience, right? <laughs> signals are scam. Oh, jeez. Do I have any witness that, that, is, that is agreeing with um, Alfred? Anybody saying like, Alfred, you are right? Anybody? Anybody saying, Alfred, you are right? <laughs> oh jeez. Better over and say yes so. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Let's go to so number 1, develop confidence. Number 2, uh develop uh know your weakness and number 3 is develop a routine, trading plan. Number 3, develop a routine. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> Anna said, <laughs> yes, signals are scam. Like, <laughs> oh, jeez. Alfred, Alfred is saying another one here. Bad experiences, bro. This South African guru. <laughs> Dude. Oh, God. 
I'm, I, I, I have some amazing South African guys that are doing well. <laughs> okay, so maybe you fell into the wrong ends, but they're like that. They mastered how to, you know, how to make you join their group. They've mastered it. So once you see their stuff like this, you are, you are trapped until you, you, you attend a Tamayo Wale show. That is the day you say, no, these people... These people cannot cannot ruin me. <laughs> okay, Simeon said I used to I used to use Signal before you started coaching me. It was a bad experience. <laughs> yeah, I was there before. I I was there before. I was there before. I was there before. You just have to take responsibility. And if you don't want to learn. Invest, do for a company where you can buy stocks and leave it for five years, ten years. You'll be good. <laughs> uh, if you want to really sort in Forex, get your hands dirty. Okay, so uh Asun, Asun from Cameroon has another thing. He said, no, sorry, it depends on you. who is taking the signal and who is who you're taking the signal from. It is because it becomes a scam. Don't even the read. You are taking the person's signal. That is the stop loss and the take profit. Yes, that's a good note. It's because you don't know what you're doing. Is yeah, that could just be it. So, and some people know what they are doing. They don't have the time to analyze. They've not. They've not um, developed mastery. So that's what they're missing. So, uh, I think I, li I like this psychology of trading stations. <laughs> I think I like it. You guys are like sharing, like, one guy was killing us in his group and was laughing at us. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> Oh God! A lot is happening outside there, guys. A lot. <laughs> I know what you mean, Alfred. Anna, Anna, I've also experienced it. So it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. So the number three reasons, reason. Okay, the number three reason why you need this. The number three reason. Or the number three psychology of trading I'll share with you is develop a routine. I'll call this routine, it's more than trading plan, okay? Okay? It's more than trading plan. It's, it's more than trading plan. Some of us, when we wake up, the first thing we go, go to do is touch, hit our phone, Open our meta to the four when we wake up. I think it's that's not a that's not an LD way. That's not an LD way. That's not an LD way to get things done. And I will I will I will I'll share this with you. One of the things that changed my trading experience is session session trading in our community we don't trade without session so mr Mayer, well, what do you mean by session for example euro is being traded in london session it means that for euro currency to move it can only move in london session so let's join Euro USD together. If I'm going to be trading Euro USD, the only time I want to be on the chart is the first one or two hours, let's say 45 minutes to one hour of the London session. And I want to be on again during the New York section because that is the only time there is volume. There will be volume in the London session because that is when the the, the banks in Europe 
will be transacting. Don't forget the concept of money when it comes to the institutions is that they are doing that distribute the volume for the day. So if they are distributing the volume for the day, it means that they are willing to either close their position on Euro USD or they are ready to add more position on Euro USD. So if they are adding more position to Euro, it means that Euro will gain more strength during that session. If they are closing more positions in Euro, it means that Euro USD will be selling because they are closing more positions. So when I got that routine, it changed my approach of trading that I don't need to be babysitting charts. So when I do my top analysis and I get to 30 minutes chart or one hour chart, which is my entry chart, I make sure that I am only putting my money in that transaction. If it is a pending order, in, before that session open or in the session. So if you see all our trades or all my trades, you can tell when I enter because I will only enter in the session. So that is a routine. That's an example of a routine. Now, so every other time, I am busy with my, my team. I'm busy with uh, uh, the vision. We are creating content. We are doing some recordings. We are we're working on some um, applications. You know, we're putting a lot of stuff together that will help the vision. But when it is time to, when the session comes, that is where to trade. So I would recommend that you create a routine. And how did I identify this? I identified this by backtesting. I took a lot of time to backtest and increased my learning. And that has brought me to where I am today. So it's very, very important that you have your trading routine. Okay? You have your trading routine that is very key to the trading plan. Okay? I want to see this before I do this. If I don't see number one, I will not go to number two. This is one of the reasons why even sometimes two weeks, I don't, there's no trade to the community. Because one has happened, number two has happened, and we are waiting for number three. And until number three happens, we will not put our money. So we have to wait till those conditions are met. And each time we go against the condition, we, we tend to lose. So we do what to. So this is very, very important for us to get it done. And you want an healthy, healthy routine, healthy trading plan. When I go into a touch the stop loss, I will split my lot sizes into three. So I can have T1, TP2, TP3. I will make sure that when T1 trade, TP2 trade, I'm good to go. So you want to understand that, that will help you get better. Very, very important. What do you guys, what are you guys saying again? Uh, ha, ha, so this favorite psychology session as well. Fantastic. Psychology of training session. Yeah. We've been, there's still a lot I want to share with you, but we will, uh, we will, um, we'll do part two so we can finish up this. So, um, ABK says, my weakness is being lazy to analyze trade before trading and finding it difficult to close my trend, my trade when it's against me. My TP is always $1. Oh. From what you're saying, you don't have a strategy yet. So identify a strategy. Master the strategy. Last week, I taught you guys, identify a strategy that has over 60% win rate. I said that last week. Then personalize it by practicing it. Don't just say that strategy is working. So for what you're saying, bro, I think you need to get, get your hands dirty. You can't, you can't make the kind of money you want to make 
if your hands are not dirty. Dirty, not dirty in that dirty time, but dirty in practicing. Sir, is it possible to session trade cryptocurrency? No, I don't do it. I don't use it. I don't session trade. D Max says, please do. Can I have your WhatsApp number? I don't get. <laughs> you are in front of me. You need somebody's WhatsApp number. I don't get. <laughs> Some people are special breed. You are in front of the person mentoring Chinedu, and you are asking Chinedu's quest number. So you are asking quest. I don't understand. Hi. People are amazing. Huh? <laughs> you ask him number. You you are in front of me to ask questions that we answer you. You are still going to somebody. I don't get. God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Fire. <laughs> so number three, create a, a routine. Do you have a routine? Tell me. Do you have a routine? Do you have a routine? Let me add, type in your routine. Let's go. What do you do for you? What do you see? Or what do you want to see before you click in sell or buy? Type that in. What are the things you do? Do you have one? Do you have one? So Esther says no. Esther says no. Sir. That's my problem. You don't have a pro. It's a challenge. That's your challenge. It's not a problem. I am not good at following routine. Ah. You need to create one. A song. Everyone who becomes wealthy or who becomes successful at a particular level they follow routine. One of my business mentors has a routine. And he shared that with me one of these days. And so every time I know what he's doing, I know what he's doing. So it's not always, it's not always, um, it's not always very simple to do, but it's worth it. Is worth it. You need, and you will start working on that because it's going to help you. It's going to help you. Fantastic. I said, I said she's working on a routine. After I have them. Us break them sometimes, break them. I have to find a way not to break them. Take it as as commandment. 
the whole book has step on Yes. Yes. You know commandment. You see commandment. If I see this, I'll see this. If I see this, I'll see the treatment. So you need that to happen. Please follow routine. It will help you. As I said, I look for my chart. If I see M pattern, W pass, I go in on the D. Ah, this is a is it. On the M pattern, W pattern. Right. That's fine. Ah, is see now. What I'm saying is taking signal to the screen as no, it's not the same. Copy trading means you are not you are not the one trading. Investing. That will be mirrored on your account. Okay. The person does, if the person trade, trade. If the person doesn't trade, don't trade. That's what call mirror. But means that the person is giving you information. The person is giving you in details for you to enter, then you enter. Copy the thing is that you are not doing anything, you just be you would connect to your meta trade to this uh, server, and when it clicks a trade, it remains your account. So you can okay. Alfred says that S is trading on liquidity pools. Yeah, yeah, she's trading on liquidity pools. I'm not that so that sorry, Jeff. I sleep every strategy works, just depend on sticking it. Okay, I you permitted. Okay, so I, I, I strongly feel every strategy is just um, it does depend on the person. Okay, we have been part two. Uh, we've done more than half about an hour. And um, you be uh, this is recorded. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to make it up for a lot of people to learn from me. I don't want to be longer than this, but I want you to learn from the essence of this. So please take your time. Very, very important. Take your time because money is available, but you must do your part. You must do your part. So today, we've been able to sort, mention the things you learned today. Mention, mention, mention what you learned today.
Okay. So round up what is it today? What number one rule? And I say, stick your rules and routine. Fantastic. Practice more. So, stick to your rules. Practice more. That's uh, practice more to gain confidence. Very important. Okay. Practice more in coffee. Okay. You condense by practicing at least one two hours that you need. It. A little bit. Thomas says, strategy works, but I love this thing of the market. Then you need to be disciplined. You have to fight the enemy called not discipline. You have to fight it. It's an enemy. It's an enemy of progress. It doesn't want to succeed. You have to fight it. It's an enemy. Fight it. So many are not demons, there are many that are just actions. You just have to fight it. Okay? You just have to fight it. Okay? Now, all for today, I can learn to love you. And for a lot of you, I want to have a question to know more about IPC. It's called the Shinders. I see is one to learn more about the the reach out to our team. Okay. That's available to help walk you through. Okay, you can on the mentorship, either be month or six more. Okay. Six months for that bigger capital the world trade. Okay. They know they are and they want to do for so they trade with our trading okay and they also say how to trade this way. So I recommend I have some amazing capital. I don't want to trade alone, so I want to expect uh, something amazing. I read that you you do the minimum of five thousand dollars.
I'm able to walk you, help you through. I'm a high level of it. It shows some love. So you can find out what that's about. The six month program is five thousand dollars. You have me thousand dollars in free. You trade with us for six months. I'm gonna kill the market in death for six months. The other one is for oh, just want to recognize is the thousand dollars you you have about four private sessions. You have weekly trading sessions with me, apart from your private session, two sessions. You're also going to be having uh, trade ideas, how we trade. So then, so Mr. Mayawa, I'm already trade. I don't want to be in your community. We don't want, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to go through the three month mentorship, just pay $100 per month. You have access to Discord, you have access to over 100 hours videos, you have access to review, but there's no mentorship. You have access to, uh, there's no private ment mentorship. You have access to the trade ideas, psychology of trading, and so many, so many, so many. So anyone you're interested in, feel free, reach out to the admin. She will definitely help you out. Okay? So that brings us to the end of the session today. I'm really excited. Come on, guys. What will you do to my team? What will you, what will you say? Give us some amazing feedback. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What will you say? Tell me what you say. Fantastic. Let's do one look. Ah, that's it. That's it. Okay, I will be perfect. That uh, oh, yeah. Of the so I still got on Wednesday on the on the on the trade analysis trading analysis. Okay, I'm going to go and take them. Do have a pleasant pleasant evening. Every I do force at the stop and stop us floor is perfect. Find a way to do it. I'll talk to you. Peace out.